guys, I'm Atulia Bhakti. Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite pasta sauces of all time, vegan bolognese sauce. We're going to be serving it up with some spaghetti, but you can use any pasta that you like. And this sauce is so meaty, tomatoey, and delicious. You can pretty much put it on anything, lasagna, penne, uh, rigatoni, any, anything really. But we're going to make spaghetti bolognese today. Um, so let's get started. First, roughly chop two stalks of celery and set that aside. Roughly chop two medium carrots and also put that aside into the same bowl. Then roughly chop one red bell pepper. You see these ribs going around the red bell pepper? You're gonna cut around it. Then you can avoid getting the white pits or the seed. And this is a really easy way to chop up a pepper. And you're just gonna roughly chop it and add it to the same bowl that has the carrots and celery. And here is the vegetable base for our delicious sauce. We're gonna add it into a food processor. And we wanna blitz this up until it looks very finely minced. I don't wanna see chunks of vegetable in my sauce, you know what I mean? And your vegetable base should look something like this. A very beautiful fine mince. Gonna scrape this into a bowl and before we take it over to the stovetop. And by the way, if you don't have a food processor, I highly recommend that you do get one. But in case you don't have one and you still really want to make this recipe, then you can go ahead and chop everything very finely using your knife. Then in a large pot over medium high heat, add two tablespoons of earth balance, two tablespoons of olive oil. You can use all earth balance or all olive oil, but I like the combination of both. And then we're gonna add two uh, Beyond Burger patties. This is what's gonna give us that nice meatiness to our bolognese sauce. And if you're not into vegan meat substitutes at all, feel free to use anything else you'd like. Lentils would be great here, but I really like Beyond Burger. I don't care what anybody else says. Using a wooden spoon, go ahead and break up your Beyond Burger patty so that it's into little pieces like this. Once your Beyond Burger patties start to develop some light browning color, it's time to add in our minced vegetables. We want to cook the vegetables until they start to soften. Then add a quarter cup of tomato paste. And I always love to cook off the tomato paste a little bit before adding in the rest of the ingredients. This is all a part of the flavor developing process. Then add a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar to deglaze the pan. Add one 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes. I like to just crush them up with my hands. It gives it a really nice, beautiful, rustic texture. And make sure to use all its juices from the can as well. Add one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Add two teaspoons of fresh minced thyme. Add half a cup of fresh basil leaves, and I would just like to tear them up with my hands. Pour in two cups of water. Add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. This is gonna give it that extra umami flavor. And give it a good stir until everything is well combined. Bring your sauce up to a boil, then reduce the heat to a simmer. And you're going to simmer this for about 30 minutes, occasionally giving it a stir, and that is it, y'all, for the sauce. It's like the easiest sauce ever. And while our sauce is simmering away, it's the perfect time to cook up the pasta. Bring a large pot of water to boil, and of course we're gonna season that water really well with some salt. Once your water has come to a fierce boil, it's time to add in our pasta. Add one pound of pasta of your choice. Today I'm using spaghetti. You're just gonna cook your pasta about one to two minutes under its recommended time on the box. This way we can have a super al dente texture. Because when you are using sauces that are hot with pasta, the hot sauce is gonna keep cooking the pasta. And you know, overcooked pasta is just not forgivable. If you undercook it slightly, you can always save it by cooking it some more with the sauce. And once your pasta is super al dente, go ahead and reserve about a cup of the pasta cooking liquid and set it aside in case we need it later to loosen up our sauce. Strain your pasta. 
and add your pasta back into the same pot. It's been about 30 minutes, our sauce has thickened up and it's nice and it's ready to be dressed into our pasta. So start ladling over the pasta, I mean the sauce into the pasta. You're just gonna toss the pasta until every bit of the pasta is nicely coated with sauce. And this pasta recipe makes just enough sauce for one pound of pasta. So I guess what you could have done is just thrown the pasta into the pot of sauce. You can really do whatever floats your boat here. And I guess we didn't need to use any of our pasta cooking liquid today, but some days you might need it because your sauce might have come out a little bit thick. Then you can loosen up slightly by adding a little bit of pasta water at a time. Our pasta is ready, now let's plate it up. I like to stack up my pasta and give it a little bit of height so that it looks really pretty. You can finish it off with some freshly grated vegan Parmesan cheese. This is made by Violife. But just don't put too much like I did here because it's a little bit salty. Lastly, garnish with some baby basil leaves. I always like to save these little guys for the end. It always gives it a nice, beautiful touch to our pasta. Ah, <sighs> Finally, I get to eat some of this pasta. It looks so delicious. I love spaghetti with the bolognese sauce. I also love pappardelle, but couldn't get any at the grocery store this time. Oh, this looks amazing. comes out perfect every time. You get that meatiness from the Beyond Burgers that really mimics the taste and texture of a real meat bolognese sauce. I'm, I'm sure you can give this to a, a carnivorous person and they'd be super satisfied and happy. And the flavors of all the vegetables um, that added to the sauce is amazing. Um, the spaghetti is holding on to the flavors of the sauce really well. Mm. Gosh, so. And I love adding in a little bit of that red chili flakes. It doesn't make it spicy, but there's just a little something there. Just this whole sauce recipe, the balance of flavors is to perfection. Another perfect recipe, guys. If you like this bolognese sauce recipe, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because I have new awesome vegan recipes coming out for you every Friday. And if you want the written recipe of this bolognese sauce, I'll post a link to my website in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.